Hello everyone, this is T-Bird Bricks and another video. I'm excited to kick off my first review of the brand new year, 2024. This is set number 75372, Clone Trooper and Battle Droid Battle Pack. Coming in at 9 minifigures, 215 pieces, and a whole bunch of cool billable stuff. Two speeders, a staff and a clone speeder, little cannon, and the tri-droid. Really looking forward to checking out that tri-droid. Yeah, this, is a, this just looks cool. Really looking forward to getting into this. Haven't had an exciting battle pack in a long time, in my opinion. So looking forward to diving on in. Let's stop talking. Let's start building. So here's the entire set. And yeah, this is quite a smorgasbord. You get a lot of minifigures. You get weapons. The cannon looks cool. This is all really nice. Uh, just, just to kind of start things off with what's going on here. So first off, you have a trunk with a detonator in it. I put the detonator on top so you can see the really nice printing on there, but there's another one inside. You can kind of hear from the, the rattling. Next, you have the cannon, so you can go ahead, take one of the troopers right there, man the cannon. I like the way this looks. I love how they use shields on the side to give it armor. Really nice touch. Next up, we have the stab speeder. I think it stands for STAHP or something like that. Um, this one's okay. Definitely not the best stab speeder we've ever gotten. Um, yeah, just a really simple, straightforward design. You know, in a pinch it'll do. Let's go ahead and put a droid on there real quick. And there you have it. So here's the droid on the stab speeder. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks really nice. Love the uh, little backpack there to put the gun on. Really cool. Then next up you have the clone trooper speeder. So this is very reminiscent of the very original battle pack that came out way back in, I think it was 2008. You know, this speeder and this cannon mount remind me of that. I'm going to go ahead and put some clones in there real quick. So yeah, here's the speeder. Uh, looks really cool. Love the side cannon mounts. Love the feature of the shooters in the back. A little, you know, not the best design, but still looks pretty nice. Yeah, love the side armoring there. Yeah, this is pretty cool. And then, of course, let's get to the main build, the reason why we're all here. Well, obviously, other than the minifigures, the Tri-Droid. And this is a really, really nice design. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. The technique for the legs is really nice. Good armoring on the side. Flick fire missiles is a good touch. And this head does rotate. So see that? Pew, 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 pew. Rotates all around. Yeah, really nice touch. Really nice design. Really well done, Lego. Let's go ahead and spotlight the uh, all nine minifigures of this set. So starting off, we have the three generic clone troopers, just the, the normal phase two clone troopers, and they look pretty good. I took the helmet off of one so you can see his face, and all the faces should be the same because they are clones. Yeah, he looks pretty good. Looks less angry than previous uh, iterations. Love the chest printing, love the leg printing. I'm pretty sure we've seen these guys before, and I think the ATTE from I think a year and a half ago, but hey, these guys still look pretty good. Don't really mind the helmet holes. I guess the only criticism I have in the helmet holes is we should have at least gotten parts to put in the holes. Uh, you don't get that in this set, so kind of a, a wasted opportunity there, but no big deal. The figures still look pretty good. Let's go ahead and move on to the next batch. Okay, so the next batch we have the Shock Trooper and then two typical B1 battle droids. These guys look pretty good. Again, no reason to take his helmet off because they're clones. They all look the same. And I guess that's actually another criticism I might have on this set is it would be nice to eventually get different expressions on the clones' faces, kind of to mix it up a little bit, you know, angry or laughing or something like that. Just to kind of mix it up in, in your battles, you know, that, that'd be nice. But yeah, the clone looks good. Droids look really nice. Always love when you get a new set and the, the battle droid arms are so nice and tight and, and good friction on there. Yeah, really good placement on the arms. Really cool. Let's go ahead and move on to the uh, B2 battle droids. And bringing up the rear, we have the last three minifigures, probably the most exciting and most anticipated of the set, uh, the B2 Super Battle Droids. And the reason why they're most exciting and anticipated is we haven't seen these minifigures in a set since 2015. That was a Hailfire Droid set from, yeah, way back in 2015, so almost a decade. Now, I don't really have the those figures to compare it to. I do have the original one. Boom. Let's go ahead and put that right there. Um, and obviously the, the one from 2015 is the same one as this one. It's just colored black, but you can kind of see the subtle differences here. Look at the shoulder pins are a little wider. Looks a little more muscular. 
the uh, face is a different molding. They definitely used a different mold to make these. And I gotta say, Lego, great job. Yeah, they look extraordinary. Love the dot on there, on the uh, the side piece. Yeah, they just look really cool, I think. So that's my first review of the year. And overall, this is a really nice set. Really well built. Love the Tri-Droid. Love all the figures you get. Love the return of the Super Battle Droid. That is just excellent. Yeah, this is a really great figure. Um, not great figure, excuse me. Great set with great figures. And overall, this is a definite buy. Good value. I mean, 30 bucks for one, two, three, four builds and nine minifigures. You can't really go wrong. So... Let me know if you got this set. Let me know how many you've got of this set. You know, long live the Star Wars Battle Pack. Let me know what you think. Uh, like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.